So back in October, I posted about getting the Furrier and I still haven't opened the Furrier so I'm going to crack it open now on camera to show you what it's like to unbox a Furrier, what's inside and also give you my first initial impressions. Um, so this is the Furrier transform engine. Comes with power cables which is super handy. Comes with a manual um, with the quick start guide. Uh, on it. It's super light. We'll say that the design of the actual physical unit is so nice. Looks really cool. Wow, that is so smart. <clears throat> Looks great. So here is the Furrier unit. Um, as you've just seen, yeah, that's that's the front of the unit, um, which is pretty clean, looks smart. Um, and then this, the back of the unit, with the ports, <clears throat> there's a USB bay behind here, as you may have seen on the other clip. Um, that has four ports, so I assume licenses and anything like that, um, which you want to kind of lock away. And then Dante lines, MIDI lines, and two power um, suppliers. Um, primary and redundant. Um, so I'm going to plug this thing in. Uh, I haven't got any consoles out at the moment, but I'm going to plug it in, see how easy it is to kind of get it running on my laptop. Okay, so I'm just going to use a standard network cable straight into the control port. On. Turned it on. Get a little green light on the back. Direct into the computer. Yeah. Just so we can see it. So there we have it. So that's all on. It says OK. <clears throat> so usually I use wave servers. So the difference between this and the wave server that I would usually use is. Um, that this allows you to, it's a host for kind of any VST that you'd want to use really. So um, I can use Valhalla verbs, anything from, you know, Plugin Alliance, all that kind of stuff that I'd use in the studio, um, I can now use live. Waves have brought out the Waves live box since um, as well, so, which kind of does the same thing. Um, Furia are meant to be pretty good at dealing with um, various different um, VSTs uh, and loads of people have been raving about it so I thought hey let's give it a go here we are so enter the IP address of the engine so I'm just going to find the IP address the machine itself is pretty quiet at the moment um, obviously there's nothing running on it here we go connect transform engine here we go <clears throat> so we can upgrade it so I'm going to do a little system upgrade on it now don't know how long that will take. Probably shouldn't have clicked that. For like a 2U, like full size rack unit. Compared to the Wave server as well, this is super light. Okay, so here we go. So this is the software, this is the actual computer inside of Furrier. So I guess I'll have to drop in the plugins and do an offline installation. I haven't worked that one out yet. Not, obviously not used this before. So if I wanted to name something, I'll put this as my kick. Um, and then I can root. Oh, that routing's great. So that's super easy. Mono and stereo, latency groups, pretty standard, and then your output routing. I will say that the routing is so much nicer already. Uh, first impressions are really, it's great. Um, super easy to get set up software is great i think um it's kind of annoying that i've got to go through and install all my plugins onto this thing and do it all through um pc so the plan now will be get plugins on it and then pull up a show file get it all try and get it all dialed in see how it feels so initial impressions are it's really nice. Um, the box itself is super clean, super lightweight, looks smart and connecting it up uh, to the laptop as well was pretty easy. 
Uh, the software seems really nice and simple. The routing function of um, the software as well is super clean. I'm gonna grab my DLive, grab the mix rack, get it all connected up and do a little kind of multi-track sound check on it um, and see how it flows. And then I'll basically trial it out and see how it handles all the processing um, that I would normally use. Um, and then, um, yeah, give it a little run for its money and see if it's worth the investment. So if you subscribe to the channel um, or follow me on Instagram, you'll see when I drop the next video where I'll do kind of like a mix that I would normally run at church or on show um, and you can see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon.